qualifying or testing, it looks very different. All of a sudden, you start putting all those bright colors to the fans there. It kind of changes everything. You get a good look at the wheel there as you watch Graham. And that wheel is something that when we get to an Indianapolis 500, you have fans who don't follow IndyCar as often. There's so much to answer and so much that that does. And Danica Patrick, if you got back in the car for the Indy 500 last year, you got to relearn a lot of what is going on in the technology as it's changed. Why don't you do a little show and tell for everyone? Explain what Graham told you. Obviously, this looks like, you know, this is a fighter jet. This is an airplane. Think of it. That's a race car. It's an upside-down airplane. Um, you have everything from your neutral. This is your. This is also another alternative to your paddle for your clutch. Um, you have probably, this is probably quick. Every steering wheel is different between every team based on the team and preference. But this probably quick shifts you from weight to the left to the right front. So weight jacker. Um, reverse for if you get in trouble in the pit. change your digital dash if you don't like what you're seeing or if you need to look at an alternative page. Um, there's a tag. This is probably this is probably for your shock adjusters. There's a lot of things going on here. And so for me, when I was back in the car last year for the first time, being as small as I am, to see over the wheel yet be at the right angle with my body, I couldn't see my steering wheel. So I had to kind of make an effort to see it. So it really helps to be very familiar with this if you can memorize it. Hey motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.